I am sure that you would convict a person at a criminal trial, a defendant, if a forensic expert testified on the stand that a fingerprint comparison identified the person, a perfect match. I'm sure you would do the same if it was a bite mark, a firearms comparison, a DNA comparison, or a facial recognition al algorithm. I would do the same. And I would have done the same until I began studying in detail the, the sources of error in forensics. What can be done? My autopsy of a crime lab takes you top to bottom through the sources of error in modern forensics. We need top to bottom reform. That reform should begin with independent crime labs and with national regulation of forensics. We need real science to support the hard work that forensic experts and people in labs do every day. And we need judges to step up. It all begins with dispelling the myth of a perfect forensic match.